Hey everyone, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest, and today I'm going to do an update video on my Eastern Red Cedar and my Eastern White Pine. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic week. So I've been asked to do an update video on the Eastern Red Cedar that I planted uh, approximately two and a half years ago. So I thought now would be a good time and I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about them and uh, show you guys how much growth they put on. So I planted two back here. Uh, it was in, uh, I think it was in early January, a couple years ago. That's probably going on three years now. But uh, when I planted them, they were about a foot and a half uh, a piece, about, about a foot and a half tall piece, and I planted them back here on the back edge of my yard. I was looking for something to, to put a little bit of a, a screen on the back of my property, and I had decided to go with eastern red cedars and eastern white pines. So these two eastern red cedars, this one's on the back corner of my house. So this one is uh, it's done really well. I, I had it in cages originally because I have people back here uh, this is right on the back edge of my property, and sometimes I've had people back here weed eating or mowing, uh, you know, on their side of the property, and I uh, just wanted to protect them uh, in case of an accidental, uh, you know, clip with the weed eater or or the lawnmower. So as you can see, this one on the back corner is doing pretty good. I mean, it was a foot and a half tall when I planted them. This one right now is about four and a half feet. Now, uh, the next one that I planted has done a little bit better. So, and they're, they're looking really good, I think. Filling out real nice. This one's actually topping out right at about, uh, right about five feet. So from two and a, from, so, so from about a foot and a half to uh, five feet, four and a half, five feet in about two and a half years, I think that's a pretty good growth rate. And uh, you know, Eastern Red Cedars are a fast growing plant. Now the first year that I planted these, I did water them. Uh, you know, we had a good dry spell that came through that year. So I was out here watering them. I wasn't out here watering them every other day. I was pretty much watering them as on, an, you know, uh, as I thought they needed it. You know, if, if it's cool and if it's been rain, anything like that, I don't water them. I uh, try to let them harden off as quickly as possible, but I did give them some supplemental water, but only that first year. <clears throat> I have not watered them or fertilized them since. Uh, I may have been able to get some additional growth out of them had I watered them more or give them some fertilizer, but I'm still really happy with the uh, with the growth rate these put on. Seems like this year in particular they've really taken off, and so I'm happy with the way these are going to look. I think they're going to fill in real nice. Now I planted these about the same time as I planted uh, some eastern white pines along the back here. And I'm going to show you guys these eastern white pines. And you know, eastern white pine and eastern red cedar are both fast-growing trees. But these uh, these white pines have uh, really kind of struggled. <clears throat> but this year, they've had uh, the most growth on them uh, than you know the past two years. So I, I think they've uh, come to a turning point. Here's one of them. Here's another one here. I think this year is a turning point for them. Uh, I actually lost one and I, I replanted it with a new one. Uh, I had this American Arbor Vitae I planted here. This was in the front of my house when I first moved in. I moved it back here and it, the deer over this last winter just absolutely decimated it. In fact, it's <laughs> it almost looks like a topiary the way they uh, kind of stripped the bottom out. But I'm going to leave it here. If they eat on it, I don't really care, you know, because uh, I put it back here. I didn't want to throw it away, you know. Uh, so I don't really care. It's kind of like a sacrificial lamb, I guess, uh, in that sense. So if they, uh, if they eat on that, that's no big deal. So this pine here, uh, it's not really done too much. It's really dry back here, especially in the summer. I got a lot of big oak trees. There's a big oak tree right here. Uh, I got another one, another little white pine here. So these really haven't done much at all, and uh, I'm... I got uh, still got fences around them. Still got this little protective cage. <clears throat> so you know that one's right next to a 
another big uh, maple tree. So I, I think uh, the fact that they got these big trees next to them, it's probably slowing their growth some. But I think they're taking off now. I think they're, I think they're pretty much established, and I really anticipate next year uh, having them really start to, to take off. So uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, in the front of my yard. I had an eastern white pine and an eastern red cedar that I planted up there. Uh, I planted those up up there about five years ago, and I wanted to talk about those a little bit. So I'm going to pause this video, and I'll meet you right back up in the front. All right, so I'm coming. I'm back up here in the front part of my yard. Now this is an eastern red cedar. Right now it's probably, it's probably pushing seven feet. So I planted this maybe two years before I planted the other ones. I planted this in the back yard, <clears throat> not too far from where I planted the other ones, and it was just getting way too much shade, and uh, it was actually in the process of dying. So I moved it up here to the front corner of my yard, and I have to say over the last couple years, it is like really taken off. <clears throat> I'm really happy with the growth of this thing, and uh, I don't know if you can see this now, but it's already starting to produce those beautiful blue little seed cones. <clears throat> I wasn't really expecting them uh, to grow these so so fast, to start getting these so fast, because uh, it usually takes a long time. But this tells me that there's a, uh, you know, this is a female, because these are dioecious. You have male and female trees, and uh, they really smell. If I pull this off and kind of break the skin, they have a really strong evergreen scent to them <coughs> and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was this eastern white pine I planted and this thing's I bought this when it was about a foot tall probably about five years ago <coughs> I bought this at a, a nursery in Amish country and it was for it was like seven bucks so I planted this here and it's really shot up I mean it's it's a little bit, a little bit uh, thin inside here. I think that's because it gets gets a little bit of shade. It gets probably, you know, if it had if it was getting more full sun, I think it would be a little bit fuller. But I'm happy with the way this grows. <clears throat> I love eastern white pines. I think as it gets bigger, it's going to look a lot better. And one little thing I want to show you, a little point of interest, is that uh, if you one way you can identify eastern white pine is if you pull off you know one of these uh, this fast this part down here I, I believe it's called a fascicle so if you look at the needles here <clears throat> in white pine there's always going to be five needles in a white pine and coincidentally enough you know the word white uh, is w-h-i-t-e there's five letters in the word white and there's five needles in a white pine group so that's one I'm trying to get a better a better appearance on that. I don't know if I can or not. Let me see if I can get another another cluster here. So this one you can see there's five. So that's this is just a quick way that you can identify eastern white pine if you're plus you know they have a really distinctive look kind of real uh, soft long needles <clears throat> but I thought that was kind of cool. So there you go I know some people have been asking for this update for a long time. I appreciate your patience. I should have done this video a long time ago. But, uh, you know, just uh, with work and everything else that's been going on, it's been really busy. But, uh, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, some actual growth. I didn't want to come out here and I planted them a foot and a half and they're only two feet. Uh, so that doesn't make for a very good video. <laughs> so now you guys can see and kind of gauge it if you plant them yourself, you know, you can kind of anticipate how much growth they're going to put on over a year or two years. So I hope this uh, helps. I <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this video. You know, the, one, the great thing about these kind of trees is they give you the winter beauty. Uh, evergreens really come into their own in the winter, I think. And, uh, you know, they provide habitat for birds. They provide beauty for the landscape, structure, when everything else is kind of kind of dead and brown or gone or everything's been cut back for the year. These provide structure and beauty and greenery. And I think, uh, you know, there's so many different kind of evergreens out there, even native ones, that you can work them in almost any space. So there you go, eastern, eastern red cedar, eastern white pine, and I hope you have a great day. I just want to thank all the subscribers to my channel. Thanks for all the comments and kind words, and, and uh, you know, it's really exciting hearing your guys' positive feedback and all the great things going on in your own gardens. 
So like and subscribe this video, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.